an exchange traded fund, an ETF as they're called. How exactly do these work? Are they worth putting your money into? I'm Clay, let me explain. So as I said, ETF is just an exchange traded fund. That's what it represents. But the main word is a fund. Maybe you've heard of a mutual fund before. And a fund is just a way of taking a bunch of individual components and then putting them all together. And that's what is going on with an exchange traded fund. So just to kind of point out how it all works from a math perspective, and yes, I'm, there's little more details, but just from a broad general understanding so that you have a, you can speak intelligently about it, you know, that's the goal here. So let's just say that you have, we're gonna take four stocks. We have Google, we have Apple, we have Amazon, and we have Facebook. I don't know, maybe you've heard of those companies before, maybe you haven't. But let's say that each one of those companies are in the fund, okay? So those companies are what's making up the fund. And then within that itself, it depends on, okay, well, yeah, they're all part of it, but in what sense from a proportionate standpoint or what percentage, how much, another way. So how much of each of these are within the fund? Well, let's just say, again, to keep the math easy, let's say that each one is just 25%. So each of these is a fourth of that fund. Now, it, it could be 80%, 10%, 5%, 5%. The, the difference, the quote unquote, how much, that's gonna be different for every fund out there. Whether you're talking about a mutual fund or an exchange traded fund here, they're all gonna be different. So the ETF and how much is always gonna differ. But like I said, for simplicity's sake, let's just say each one is 25%. Now let's take this to the next step further and say that over some period of time, and let's just call it a week, and you know this time period doesn't matter, but within a week, Google actually drops down $50, Apple goes up $150, Amazon drops $25, and then Facebook goes up $100. So the question becomes, okay, all this acts, uh, you know, all this action takes place, but what is the value of the actual ETF? So what is going on with that? Because all these are making up that exchange traded fund, the ETF. So what would the ETF actually show you as did you make money being part of that ETF or did you lose money? Well, the good news here is the way it works is you just come down here and you, you pull out the calculator and you add all those up. I'm gonna try some mental math here. So right here we have what? This and this, we have 250. So 250, then you gotta subtract out, because uh, now you have $50 in losses and another $25 in losses. So $75, let's actually just break this down so you can see it perfectly. So in total losses you have, you have $75 in losses total, hence the negative sign, and then in gains you have what? Well, 100 plus 150, so you have 250 in total gains. So 250 in gains, but it lost 75, so that would put it at 175. So in other words, how much did these all equate together as far as the fund is concerned? The ETF gave you a profit of 175 because the parts within the fund behaved and acted in that way, which gave the numbers, which then ultimately equated to 175. So basically an ETF is just a way to diversify. Same principle with mutual funds, but mutual funds usually have a lot of other fees, and these can have fees too, but that's again a, another video that maybe if you're interested I can do that, but the point of this video was just how does an ETF work, and this is how it's broken down. Just individual components placed into one, and depending on how much you know they're uh, you know w within the fund, that'll dictate you know how the math works out. But from a general sense, this is exactly how an ETF works. So the next time you see that, it's just a, a tool to diversify yourself 
and kind of spread your risk around to a bunch of different stocks or whatever the fund is actually making up and you know being constructed around. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.